I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for giving us this time that we may hear and share the word of God together. I want to talk about trusting in God's promises. Most of the times are the times that we trouble ourselves. We have personal struggles. We have family issues and even spiritual battles. But when we realize and we know that the promises of God are yes and amen, we become stronger. And we are able to face our mountains. And we are able to face any challenge that may raise in our lives. It is my prayer that the Lord has kept you safe. And I just want us to share this word. The strength that we fight in God's promises. As I have said earlier, that promises of God are yes and amen. We are going to be read by the word from the book of Isaiah chapter number 40 verses 29 to 31 and the Bible says he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of weak even the youth grow tired and weary the young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on with wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be afraid. I've come to encourage you in just some, just a few minutes. That when we trust in God's promises, we have confidence of facing tomorrow. That when we trust in God's promises, we are assured that our tomorrow will be better. And we have been told by the word of God that even young men grow weary and they get tired and they even stumble. But those who hope in the Lord, their strength is renewed. I want us to get encouraged from this word. That when we put our trust in God, that when we trust in the promises of God, we will never grow weary. I want us to go through like three things that we can draw when we trust the promises of God. The strength that we get from trusting the promises of God. And then I start. Number one, I'm going to talk about God's promises. Provides hope in the times of despair or in the times when we feel our strength is finished. That God's promises provides hope in the times of despair and challenges. In times of despair, it can feel like there is no way out. However, God promises our source of hope. He assures us that he is with us even in the dark moment. When you trust in the promises of God, even if you're going through hard time, God is reminding us that there is hope at the end of the tunnel. And we are being reminded that even though our bodies may get weary, when we trust in the promises of God, we fight strength of facing tomorrow. We fight strength of moving together with God. We fight strength. He assures us that he is with us even in the darkest moment in our lives. That God promises provides hope in despair. When you understand and you know that you trust in a bigger God, you have hope. 
when you trust and you believe that you your faith is anchored in a bigger god than your problems than your challenges you have faith that even in your darkest moment he is together with you the word of god reminds us in the book of jeremiah 29 in verses 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord get my words declares the lord not declares our friends not declares the people we think they can help us but the bible says for i have plans for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future our god is always with plans of helping us of holding our hearts of lifting us when we are down that when we trust in the promises of god he is ready to walk with us god is always there for us god is always there waiting for us to call upon him and he is going to help us point number 2 brothers and sisters god's strength sustained us in our weaknesses god's strength sustains us in our weaknesses that when we are weak when we are weary when we feel that our strength has gone to drainage we are being reminded that the strength of god sustains us when we are weak we all face moments of weakness where our strength fails in those times god's strength becomes perfect in in our weaknesses he sustains us lifts us and carries us through that when we trust and we hope in the promises of god we find strength which sustains us lifts us and carries us through tough times and challenges my viewer i know at times you go through hard times and challenges but this word is reminding us this evening that we find strength in the promises of god because the promises of god are yes and amen that the promises of god helps us stand helps us have confidence helps us to stand and even testify of the goodness of god in our lives that when we are weak we can trust that he can sustain us he can lift us and carry us through our issues we can get that from the book of second corinthians 12 and verses 9 and the bible says but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you hallelujah that the grace of god dear brethren is sufficient to all of us grace of god is sufficient to all of us this is not what men and women can do to us but this is all about what god can do in our lives for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me god can come through when we are weak and when you are weak we are strong that god's strength sustains us when we are weak when you are weak it is the time 
to thank God more. When you are weak, it is the time to draw near to God more. For he has power and he is faithful to deliver you from all of your troubles. Dear brothers and sisters, to rely on God's strength, I encourage you to rely on God's strength rather than your own. And when you acknowledge our limitations, we allow God to work powerfully in our lives. One thing that makes me feel good about our God is that our God is never limited. Man may be limited by time. Man may be limited by their education. Man may be limited by their social status. But our God is never limited. It is better to trust in the promises of God that are yes and amen. Our God is never limited. Point number three and the last one as I conclude my dear brothers and sisters. God's presence brings peace in the time, the times of trouble. That God's presence or God promises, God promises brings peace in the times of turmoils or the times of problems. Life is full of storms. Life storms can be overwhelming. But God promises his peace to those who trust in him. His presence calms our fears and gives us peace that surpasses all understanding. That when we trust in the promises of God, he gives us peace even when we are in our deepest challenges. That when you trust in God, promises, we get peace from Him. We can get this from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. And the Bible says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayers and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God will transit all understanding. Which transits all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Life is full of troubles. Life is full of people who do not love you. Life is full of of so many ups and downs but you're being reminded we only need to involve God and to remind God of his promises and when we trust in his promises he'll give us peace and calmness in our lives brothers and sisters be encouraged to see God's presence and promises in prayers and meditation in his want. His peace is available to all who draw near to him even in the midst of our sorrows, in the midst of our troubles, in the midst of our pains, in the midst of when we feel like we don't have the strength to continue anymore. It is the highest time that God is waiting for us to trust and to anchor ourselves in his promises, in his promises. God promises, gives us hope in times of despair. God's strength sustains us in the times of weakness. And the last one, God's presence and promises brings peace in the times of trouble. Brothers and sisters, we have been reminded that promises of God Ah, yes and amen. Rest trust in the promises of God and he will always be there for us. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us give thanks for the word. Our God and our Father, we thank you for giving us 
opportunity to share your word this day. We pray that you may help us to clink in your promises that are yes and amen. Thank you, Lord, for this word. May it be more pride in our hearts. We thank you and we honor you. Our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.